Hi there learners. It's nice to see you again. Welcome to Valenzuela Live. But before we proceed, please prepare your learning module, pen and paper and don't forget to collaborate and engage during discussion. Let's learn and enjoy TLE. Quarter 1 Week 4 Lesson Maintain Electric and Hydraulic Tools At the end of the lesson, students should be able to 1. Identify electric tools and materials. 2. Inspect tools and equipment for the damaged prior to their use. 3. Appreciate the importance of maintaining the quality of electric and hydraulic tools. 1. I know select the best answer. Type the letter of your answer in the comment section. 1. It is a machine used to bore holes on thin metals. A. Hammer drill. B. Hydraulic. C. Portable grinder. D screwdriver two. It is a blank that uses pressurized fluid oil to accomplish the work. A. Electric B. Hydraulic C. Pneumatic D. Screwdriver Three, it is a tool used to bend rigid metallic conduits more than one inch in diameter. A. Hydraulic knockout B. Hydraulic pipe bender C. Hydraulic pump D. Screwdriver Four. It is a picture symbol intended for you to be alert and to be instructed on how to avoid a potentially hazardous condition. A. Screwdriver B. Sign C. Symbol D. Warning Icon 5. 1. What is the preferred size of extension cord for portable grinder? A. Hash 2.0 square millimeters B. Hash 3.5 square millimeters C. Hash 5.5 square millimeters D. Hash 7.5 square millimeters A job well done learners. Now, let's proceed to our new lesson electrical tools and material.
Files pliers are electrical hand tools used primarily for holding, cutting, twisting, retrieving and joining or splicing electrical wires. They could be with insulated or uninsulated handles. The handle insulation is not considered sufficient protection alone. Other safety precautions must be observed. The common types of pliers are slip joint Screwdrivers are used to drive and pull out screws. Basic maintenance of electrical tools and equipment. To ensure that your ele electric tools work when you need them, you must take proper care of them. A good routine of maintenance for your tools is one thing that you can do to make sure that the tool is in good working condition. One, make sure that your electric tools are ready to go when you are, Keep them clean and free of dust. Spend some time to clean out the dust every once in a while, on your tools while they are inactive in storage. 2. Check the cords. Look for tear, cut insulator on the power cords on your electric tools. This will ensure that your electric tool can get the power that it needs to function without an accident. 3. Use the right tool correctly. Use tools correctly and for their intended purposes. 
follow the safety directions and operating procedures recommended by the manufacturer. When working on a circuit, use approved tools with insulated handles. 4. Protect your tools. Keep tools and cords away from heat, oil, and sharp objects. This hazard can damage insulation. If a tool or cord heats up, stop using it. Report the condition to a supervisor or instructor immediately. Five. Use double insulated tools. Portable electrical tools are classified by the number of insulation barriers between the electrical conductors in the tool and the worker. Six. Storing your tools keep your electric tools stored in their original cases and containers. This will keep them free from dust and dirt while they are not being used. 7. What's more, find and encircle the words in the word search puzzle. You can find them either horizontally, vertically and diagonally. Claw hammer, driving tools, pliers, wire gauge, Cutting tool, measuring and testing, power drill, drilling equipment, screwdriver. You have three minutes to answer. How many did you find? 
Drop the image of your answer. For your assignment, kindly answer worksheet number 4 in a pad paper. Prepare also for your monthly quiz to be given tomorrow. We're done for today. I hope you've learned. If there's any questions, you may ask your subject teacher in TLE. Let me end with this. TLE, thank you for streaming with us. Like and love our video lesson and enjoy the rest of the day. Stay safe and God bless.